you know, some other people they uh, do another way, like uh, more high bar. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now do in a new way. Uh, I say and you say zo. Is that clear? I say okay. and you say zo. Okay. Okay. Say welcome to your new family. And you can see here today uh, we got uh, 12 people here. And I can see the boat. We got two story. Two story. I mean two floor. Uh, the first floor and the second floor. Yeah. And we have uh, eight cabins. We got eight rooms. And you can see downstairs we got a six room from two zero one up to two zero six. And we got two more room here. I mean two oh seven and two oh eight. I mean on the foot floor we got six rooms, and the second floor we got two rooms. And of course, now the uh, I mean the room downstairs, uh, the second floor, it doesn't matter because now we stay in the same family, yeah. like in the house. The first, the you second, know, the third, yeah. yeah. And uh, one really big hammers, big hammer. But uh, don't use the hammer to fight each others. The hammer for what? For emergency. To break the windows. Not for funny. <laughs> but uh, anyway, don't worry. And uh, we know to, uh, upstairs, we got some sun chair. We got some sun chair. So we can go upstairs. Later, you can go upstairs, take some photos. And one more thing, just uh, you uh, should remember, there was a cabin here, I love smoking. So that means you're a smoker. He can smoke upstairs or outside, not in the room, not in here. Yeah. So uh, I don't want to talk too much because you know, we are tired of starting. So once again, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, I wish you have a nice day and a wonderful trip here. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so you know, we have a lot of fishermen that live there permanently in, uh, in about uh, 40 different floating houses. So they live there permanently. They live there permanently. And you know, there are some people who carry some water, rise to the table to the people who live in the fishing village almost uh, uh, twice a week. And you know, the fishermen, they got a fish and they can sell it back to the, to the market to earn a living, to change. And you know, they, uh, in uh, 2014, so local government, so they got a project you know, to move the fishermen back to the mainland. And you can see they give them some uh, free house. So you can see the old people so they can have a better help here and the children. So they can go to school, you know, to get a higher education. You know, even there in the fishing village, they got a small, like the uh, uh, primary school, you know, where the children, so they learn how to read and write. But uh, only the primary. No secondary, no high school, no university. Only the primary. When they learn the ditch, the easy for the for the kid, how to read and write, easy way, easy one. And you know when I got there, we got a two awesome field, awesome one, the kayaking, like the canoe, the kayaking for two people, but if you want, you can do single, but I mean two would be better for two. Uh, because you now the kayaking route is about uh, nearly 3 km, I mean kilometer. It's about 2.5, 2.7 km. So it takes about nearly one hour. So if you think you are strong enough to do pedaling, you can do some kayak. And uh, the leg and the bum will be wet. So uh, the kayak, we should go short and sandals or flip flop even you can wear bikini because the thing about it get wet so uh, it's just up to you so also know what in the kayaking or you just want to relax and taking photos you can take the single one we arrange the bamboo boat because someone with the rower so for the bamboo 
be totally relaxing. To enjoy the view and take the photos. You know, we do in the same place. In the same place. Only one thing difference. The kayaking near rower. The belly boat. You get a lot of fishermen. They're going to row you. So when you fit in the bamboo, in the sun band, if you're happy, you can use some little tip for the rower, like a dollar, I mean, a uh, American dollars, or twenty thousand dollars. It very small money. You can give direct to the rower. And uh, when you finish the kayak of the bamboo, we can see the uh, oyster farm, I mean, uh, the pearl farming. You can see how they grow the pearl from the oyster. And when I got there, I will explain the process how to make the pearl from the oyster for you. Very easy one. So we come back here, we have time for shower, we enjoy the sun setting. And at uh, 5 to 7, we stop for the happy hour. At 6 p.m., upstairs, we stop for cooking lesson. Today, I'm going to show how to make our spring rolls. You can name easy to make for testing. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, you know, I got uh, the, uh, our two pen right here. I got to stick it here for yeah. you. Easy. You can take a photo. Yeah. Is that clear for you? Okay. Yeah. Easy. Yeah.
want to uh, maybe introduce a lady who in church here, and uh, she's going to tell you how to, uh, how to make the, the pearl from the oyster. So please uh, listen to her again. Please. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Alam Pong Today, I would like to show you some information about our Pong In here, we grow this pearl oyster, which makes a different color and the size. First, the first one are for your oyster. Apoya oyster makes a small pearl, two size from 3 to 10 mm. It takes from 2 to 3 years to take one pearl, one oyster. It has four main colors, white, pink, gray, and yellow. And it came from Japan. And the second one, Taiki oyster. Taiki oyster makes a medium pearl. Just medium pearl, two size from 8 to 15 mm. It takes from 4 to 6 years to take one pearl, one oyster, and with only white color, just white color. And it came from Thai Tea Island France. And so last one makes a clicky pearl, South Sea oyster with size from 10 to 20 mm. It makes a clicky pearl, it's only a long time for about 48 years, maximum 48 years. To take one pearl, one oyster, and with two main color. Golden white. It came from South Korea, Australia. You know, the natural pearl are formed by grain of sand or stone. So they are rare and not with the full shape. Then we apply some handy technology. We put something inside the oyster to make a beautiful pearl. Now we put inside for some information about the To cook the spring roll, normally we cook it with the pork, but today we got some people who are taking the pork, so we change it to seafood. And you see, we got some uh, prawn and some squid right here, so uh, we can change the chicken or even tofu for those who are vegan. And also, we got some well chopper uh, like carrot, uh, spring onions, that is some mushroom, that is the rice noodle vermicelli, and we got some onions, but uh, not for uh, nothing. <laughs> and also here we got some uh, oh you know uh, also we got some uh, mint yeah and uh, this is uh, we get some uh, pepper and uh, you know in Asia we call chicken stock yeah chicken stock yeah, yeah. and uh, we get some eggs and you see the eggs not like the glue it will stick all together but uh, we add only the uh, yellow of the egg we call the egg yolk the yellow of the egg yeah we call the egg yolk yeah uh, so we got some uh, seafood, like uh, some corn and some squid here. Yeah. Uh, rest of the vermicelli. Yeah. Uh, mushroom. Mushroom. Yeah. So for those uh, mushroom and uh, vermicelli, it's not too dry. So we put it in warm water for 10 minutes, and then it can chop it. Uh, spring 
Daniels? Bent? Mint? Yeah. Uh, some uh, carrots. Uh, so, uh, no, no, is that dal, garlic? Garlic. So, 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 and pepper. 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 Why not the egg white? Uh, because now if you wear it too much, when you are too fine the oil, it's like it grows it. You uh, break the rice right paper. Right? Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> so now you can mix it all together. Yeah. The rice paper. The rice paper a little bit dry, so you know it's uh, very easy to be broken yeah. when it keep rolling. So we have to make a little wet, a little soft by using the wet towel. We put in the wet towel. Yeah. Then I can use one tablespoon for one spin roll. So uh, we can use one tablespoon for one. Uh, we make the belly first and then uh, you can roll it twice. One. Two. And then uh, we uh, fold the cyan. Then uh, we can keep rolling a little time until the end. And at the end, we can use some egg white, you know, to seal the end of the rice paper. We still use it. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna make another sample here. Right. To, uh, you know, to fry, you know, we use some uh, the soybean or the peanut oil. Yeah. But you know, to check the oil, is that ready or not ready? Put we your hand in the uh,
El barco aquí. Yeah, exactly. Is that clear for everyone? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. 